Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed and today I'll be showing you how to customize your email that you send out to other people through your Hotmail and it just gives you, helps you to give it a little bit of visual look and professional look to your email. Hopefully this will help you out as well, help me. So first of all, don't forget to visit my channel and you can, you, know, you can check out some of the other useful videos on there. If you click on browse videos and scroll down, click on comments and you should be able to leave a comment for the next tutorial now with that done okay so first of all go into your hotmail and I'm going to show you what we're going to be making so this is an email I set myself from another account which I customized so it's Mac Production Design Studio header on top and then the name of the person that you send it into which will come here the message and then the ending message who is, who is uh, coming from and then the footer at the bottom so I'm going to be showing you how to how to achieve this. First of all, you need an image editing software. I'm going to be using Photoshop. I'm hoping you will be using the same. So in Photoshop, you want to first of all go ahead and design what it's going to look like. It's always, I find it useful to start off with a blank template, and then you create another one, and then you just work with your layout, what what you're going to be making, what it's going to look like. You're going to have some extra pictures on the right hand side and so on. So after you have after you've made your design, which I have just like this, uh you want to just go ahead and save it. So you make sure you have the header and the footer separate like this. So this is the footer, this is the header. My width that I'm using is about eight hundred pixels, which works out fine for me. It depends on how much data you want to have on there. So after you've done that, just go ahead and open up Google Chrome and you'll need to go onto an image hosting website. I'm using Tiny Pick and I've been using this as I find it really easy to use. You can use something other for example Flickr and so on. So uh you'll need to upload the file. When you upload the file, just click click on image, leave it as default unless you want to resize it, which I don't really find useful. Just click on default and click upload. After you've uploaded the image, it'll come like this. I'm just gonna refresh the page to show you guys this. This is all legit. When you upload your image, it will give you a direct link for your layout. You want to copy this link, open a new tab, and paste it into there. When you do, you'll have the this is now uh, the only the image that you're looking at. So now you want to right click and copy image. Now let's come back to help mail. First of all, to get started with this design, you need to go into options, which is right here. Go on more options. When you're in on more options look under writing email you'll see message font or signature when you're in here this is it this is where you build your design I'm just gonna get rid of all that and redesign it so first of all right click and click paste and you will paste your header and then you want to go into your footer copy and paste it now right click and copy your footer and just as easy as that leave of space in between and press enter. Now with this space in between we're going to type in dear comma and that's it we're going to leave it there and then we're going to type in uh, we're not going to type in anything here we're going to leave three spaces and then we're going to type in thank you for your cooperation and then we're going to type in with regards And your name and then you can come here and you can make this bold and you can make this some other type of font okay so uh, after you've done your designing uh, for obviously the text obviously if you want you can also change this <laughs> uh, to something like a blue which I which I like to have okay you want to just go ahead and click Save now if you go on back to your inbox and you make a new email address you'll see that automatically everything's already sorted out so if you just get rid of these two spaces type in dear um, Adam and type in um, uh, the files are attached please have a look okay and then you can see that automatically that color has uh, been picked up from this original 
you type in the email address adam at hotmail.com you type in the subject work and you're good to go that is all you have to do and that is how you personalize your email and that's it for me today if you found this tutorial useful don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos on hotmail which are coming your way and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial